gym buddy. Starting my day with another day at the gym. I haven't gone in a few days and I'm not looking forward to the after and how I'll feel, but I have to do it. I chug the rest of my protein shake in the car, wince at the taste and get out of my car. After I get in the gym and settled into my routine, at my sweatiest moment, I noticed a guy in the mirror near me. I can't help but stare in jealousy. He's the definition of tall, dark, and handsome. All I've been told I'm supposed to be, or society tells us men we should be. And buff, very buff. Which he is. I'm jealous. I barely notice I'm very creepily staring when I notice he's caught me. I look away quickly and get up, and clean my machine just as quickly before going to my next machine. After my whole workout, I'm in the bathroom throwing water at myself, and now it looks like I've been sweating profusely this whole time, but it's just water. Then I notice the same guy in the mirror again, coming out of a shower stall with a towel around his waist. Wow, he is more buff than I first thought. I feel my face get hot because of the workout, and I need air, but before I leave, he nods his head at me, and I nod back, which is, hey, an everyday guy language. The next day, I'm back at the gym, doing my thing, yet again. Before work and after sleeping, maybe 6 hours total, waking up multiple times. I see the same guy again at the bench, with pretty big weights nearby. I can't even imagine benching something that looks that heavy, but he looks like he'll have no trouble. I can't help but watch him, simply out of curiosity. He looks like he struggles at first, but then raises them up with ease. Wow. But then as he brings him back down, he says, I need a spot, out loud. I look around, no one is coming to help, so I jog over there and help him get it back on the track. He sits up. Hey, thanks man. He's out of breath. No problem, man. I go to leave as he wipes himself with a towel. I'm Brian, by the way. He gets up with his hand out. Justin, I reply, and shake his sweaty hand with my sweaty hand. Thanks for the spot, he smiles, and I can't help but do the same, especially because he already said that. No problem, and then I rush away, feeling nervous for some reason. I don't usually talk to anyone at the gym except for answering the hi, how are you from the receptionist on the way in. I usually keep to myself, working out to way too loud music, but I have spotted people before. I don't just ignore people in danger, but this is different. Over the next few days, I see him at the gym at the same time as me. We exchange greetings or head nods to each other from across the gym before I have to leave for my 8am class. Sometimes I even see him around campus. Not like I'm looking, but it seems like the guy has come out of nowhere all of a sudden. But it's a big campus, maybe I'm just overthinking this. One day in the dining hall while I'm grabbing lunch in between classes, I see him doing the same. I kind of just stare as I'm thinking if I should go talk to him or not. Are we at that stage yet that I can just go up to him and say hi? Should I say hi? I mean, we've just seen each other over in the gym a few times. We're not in-class friends. We don't live in the same dorm or on the same floor. I don't see him at any games I go to or parties. Again, it's like he came out of nowhere. I wonder if he's new. Before I'm out of my thoughts, there he is. Hey, I say awkwardly. Hi, I saw you looking my way, so I thought I'd come over and say hey. He smiles a bright white smile at me. Hey, I repeat. But he just laughs and smiles still. I didn't know if we were at that level yet, so I didn't know if I was going to say anything. But I figured I would as I was leaving, he replies. Did he read my mind? I'm leaving too, I blurt. I grab my trash and get up. Then we walk out with each other, chatting about classes we had today and classes we have all the way to when we had to go to our separate buildings. Over the next week, we saw each other more and more. He tells me he just transferred here and still needs a roommate. He tells me about his major in community college and what he was going for now. I tell him about what I'm taking and all the experiences I've had at this college so far. We even hang out in my common room sometimes. I live in a suite with three other guys and they're always loud and partying, so I'd rather spend time in the common room. With him here, it doesn't feel as lonely. After a month of our relationship growing, he's become one of the best friends I've ever had. I know it hasn't been long and I would never say that to him. I've had best friends before that didn't share my view of our friendship, and it was so embarrassing, and also ended said friendship. So now I vow to never say the best friend words until someone says it first. We have so many of the same interests. He tells me he's gay pretty early on, thinking I would judge him, I guess. He even said he doesn't usually tell people because when he does, they get all weird, especially guys. But maybe he trusted me. That's nice. I don't care, obviously. I've met people of all walks of life, especially at college. A person is a person. Why should I care who someone wants to date? With that, we've told each other of some past hookups and relationships. He's had much more experience than I have. And interesting ones at that. It's wild to listen to, but entertaining. He's funny, too. Very unlike me. 
I'm a little more shy and quiet. I kind of just keep to myself. I go to the gym, I go to games by myself, kind of go to parties in my dorm building just to awkwardly stand in a corner and talk to very few people. It's not very me. When I'm in my suite, it's usually only to sleep and get dressed. If we're being honest, my roommates are so loud, I would sleep in the common room if I could. They have music, video games, or movies blasting at all hours of the night. It seems like they never sleep. Or if they do, they somehow sleep to all of that. I've started listening to things on my phone to sleep, or wearing earplugs, and hey, sometimes I have fallen asleep in the common room while watching TV. No one is usually in there, so I tend to have the room to myself, to do whatever. It also has a kitchen right there. I keep my food in here. No one touches it. I'm just more of an introvert and can't handle all the constant noise. We find out early on we both have a love of video games. We play a lot in our free time. We've also sometimes done homework and papers together, not working together, just in a peaceful silence of being together. One day, COVID just seems to come out of nowhere, and it's everywhere. All over the news. We're told about the virus and to wear masks. Social distance, schools might be shut down. It was weird and scary. I've never lived through something like this before. And soon, our school does have to shut down. In a way. There's no more in-class classes for the foreseeable future. The library is closed and the students are highly encouraged to stay in their rooms. Most people share rooms, so that's going to work out great. The thought of having to be stuck in my dorm room and with a roommate, I almost have a panic attack at the thought. I'm going to go crazy. I tell Jordan about all of this. We're not really isolating from each other. We still have to eat. Wearing masks in between feels weird, like we're in some sort of apocalypse. After I'm done with my venting session, he tells me to breathe and eat. Why don't you just move in with me, he asks. What? I'm surprised. I have a whole apartment to myself, another bedroom. Not that loud. Sometimes, he laughs. Your tuition should cover it just as well as the suite mine does. It makes sense. Kind of does, yeah, I realize. I hate being there alone, so I usually have something on for background noise. But if we have to isolate, I might go insane, he laughs. Sounds like heaven, I laugh. I've actually been kind of thinking about this for a while anyways. I've been alone in the apartment for too long, he says. Well, I accept, I smile, and we shake hands. Not even a day after, we're already started moving my stuff in. I don't care if my roommates have any issue with it. I'm sure one of their buddies will just take that bed. It's happened before. No one will probably even care I'm gone. I don't have a lot of stuff, so me and Jordan get my stuff out within two days. I do the paperwork, and I'm moved in. Instantly, I can feel calmer just walking through the door. We're not on campus, but it's a campus housing. It's a really nice two-bedroom apartment. Since we're going to be doing online classes and lectures, it's almost like a vacation. A gateway from the chaos of college campus sounds perfect. I settle in right away. We order some workout equipment so we can still work out together. We play video games. We watch movies. We do our Zoom classes and online classes separately. But to be honest, that's about it. We cook and DoorDash most nights. We get into a good rhythm right away. I've never really had a roommate, so this is still new to me. Me and my brother didn't share a room, and I don't think my suite even counted. I didn't talk to any of my roommates. The other guy I shared a room with was hardly even there when I was, and it, I was rarely there. We usually do schoolwork all day, and then meet up when we're done. One day, on my way to get some water in between classes, we bump into each other in the hallway. I rounded a corner too fast, and we ran into each other. We laugh and go walk away from each other. We're so close to each other, I can smell his body wash. I get this flip-flop butterfly feeling in my stomach. I haven't felt in a really long time. It's so weird. I laugh it off, maybe because I haven't been on a date since, well, before quarantine. And I haven't had any physical touch with anyone in a while. Later the same day, it happens again. He touches my arm, looking at the tattoo I have on my bicep. And there's that same butterfly feeling. I don't think I've had butterflies since I was in high school with my first girlfriend. Keyword, girlfriend. I'm straight. I can't be having this feeling, can I? A few months into quarantine and I feel like I'm going almost insane. The butterfly moments happen more and more often, among others. The tension starts to become too much, not in a bad way per se, but it's a lot, and I can't avoid it anymore. There have been moments I've really just wanted him. I'm not stupid. I know sexuality is fluid and a spectrum. I've just never felt this way for another guy, ever. I denied it and ignored it for a while. But now, I just can't. The other day I went up to him as he was sitting on the couch and I put my hands on his shoulders, asking what he wanted to do that night. He put his hands on mine and it was like a shock ran up my arms. I so wanted to just reach down and hug him, but I didn't. I just pulled away nervously. Lately a lot of those moments have been happening. 
Not sure if he even notices anything is different, because since the beginning, we've always been like this. We've always been pretty playful with each other, but now it just feels like this is palpable tension. Sometimes we get drunk at home, just to have a little extra fun, and with the happy tipsiness, I feel like I could kiss him. But instead, sometimes I just look into his eyes for way too long. He doesn't say anything, but he looks back. Am I going crazy? After a long shower today, washing my waist, long hair and all, I go into the kitchen for something to eat. He just kept looking at me, kind of laughing. What? I laugh back. Nothing, he replies. What? I poke him in the ribs where he's ticklish and eventually he gives in. I just... I've never seen you with your hair down. It looks nice like that, he smiles. I feel my face blush so fast. You little metalhead, he pushes me and laughs. I laugh but I can feel my face is beat red from the compliment. I then have to leave the kitchen so he doesn't see just how red. It's so awkward. I lay on the bed, head in the pillow, and replay every moment in my head over and over. I don't know what to do. Do I tell him? In one way, I really want to date him, but I don't want to lose my best friend. But won't it just enhance the relationship? Aren't you supposed to be your lover's best friend? That's what I hear anyway. Like a soulmate? Is he my soulmate? He's honestly the best friend I think I've ever had, and I now can't deny that. I also have feelings for him, and I wonder every day if he feels the same. I need help processing this. I've never had feelings for a guy. I don't know how to date a guy. Just as weird as that sounds, I'm guessing it's just the same, but there's judgment attached to it. I want to ask him all about this, but should I? He would be weirded if I just came out with these questions out of nowhere, and if he doesn't feel the same, then things get really awkward. I also don't want to trouble him with this. It doesn't seem fair to me. And I know dating is dating. I know I won't be like dating an alien. It's just such a different idea to me because I've always been with girls. I'm still dating a person just for personality and the person. And love. Gender doesn't matter in love. Even I know that. I've never judged anyone who isn't straight. It's all so new to me. We're spending Christmas together soon because neither of us can travel home. We're getting our tree this weekend. I should just do it. I should tell him. Love is in the air around Christmas. I don't quite know how to start, but I'm going to tell him. I have to. I feel like I'm going crazy keeping it all in. Saturday, we get our Christmas tree. We both wanted a real one. And walking through all of them and picking the perfect one was so nice and fun. I see other couples and families doing the same. And then there's us. It felt natural, like we were just like them. It felt normal. It feels real. This is real. I want many Christmas trees with them. I just need to finally stop spiraling in my head and get it all out, no matter the outcome. I need to stop thinking about the logistics and just think about my feelings. I like him. I can't ignore that anymore, and I don't want to. I'm taking accountability and I won't let myself back out. I'm telling him tonight. After decorating our tree that comes out beautifully, we door dash some Chinese food and put on a Christmas movie. We really did it up with the festivities putting Christmas music while we decorated, and we got decorations for more of the apartment as well. After we're done with dinner, he offers to clean up. I pause the movie and just sit there wondering how to start when he comes back. I'm so nervous. Once he sits down again, he smiles at me, and it all becomes clear. I like you, I blurt it out. And then I kind of just can't stop talking. I know I'm straight, I know we're best friends and roommates, but I do. I have feelings for you and I need help figuring that out, but I want to be with you as more than just friends. I take a breath and he's still smiling. Then he just gives me a hug without saying anything. He's so sweet, kind, and gentle. I seem to just fit in his arms perfectly, and I just melt. Like you too, Mark, he smiles. But it's complicated. You're right, I've never wanted the feelings to develop because you're straight, and I've had crushes on straight guys before. My friends have too, and it never ends well. My heart kind of aches. I get that. I'm glad you finally said something. You could have literally flirted with me and I probably wouldn't have said anything. Going up to a straight guy and asking if they're hitting on me never goes well. It's happened. Kind of laughs. I get that too, I reply. But what about us? Well, like I said, I like you too, he smiles. Could you tell? I'm blushing again. I know you're genuine, he smiles. You're not exactly subtle. You blush a lot. I cover my face and a giggle comes out. He takes my hands away and smiles into my eyes. Now that I know that your feelings are real, and so are mine... I would love to see where it goes, he smiles. I smile too, and I notice he's holding my hands now. You don't need to figure everything out right now. We'll come to it when we get there. Just let things flow. You don't need to explain yourself to me, you or anyone else. You feel how you feel. Who you like isn't a choice. We'll figure out everything as we go along. 
The worst thing you could do is keep hiding it. You can talk to me anytime, about anything, he says. I didn't want to burden you, I say. You're not, I promise, he squeezes my hands. So will you be with me? Yes, I say, right away with a big smile. He laughs, and we can take it as slow as you want. I immediately kiss him, and it's the best kiss I think I've ever had. It's really amazing what can happen if you just open yourself to love. I never thought this would happen, but I'm so happy. Never deny your feelings. It could lead to the happiest part of your life. The end. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing to become part of our rainbow force and stay wholesome.